Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. National Shooting Sports Foundation, and I just want to pick your ear a little bit. Is that okay? Sure, yeah, of course. So you are a, a bit of a younger person than myself, and you seem to be of a generation that rarely finds itself in this world of the shooting sports and defending the Second Amendment, and, and you work for an amazing organization like the National Shooting Sports Foundation. How did you find yourself in this world? Yeah, honestly, I think that my generation and the political system that we have at play now is really the, the main reason I am in this industry. I grew up as a hunter, um, it was a family kind of thing, and uh, always enjoyed it growing up, but it was never, um, you know, it was just a, a fun thing I did with my family, and then when I went to college and just felt like I was getting kind of bombarded with these specific political beliefs, and, and everyone had this very negative connotation about hunting, they didn't seem to understand the conservation or just just any of it really because it didn't have the personal experience. And so I had this kind of heart to heart with myself and with my dad and I said, is what we're doing right? Is, is hunting good? Everyone keeps, keeps telling me it's not what we should be doing. It's not, it's not a good thing. And so he said, look, you make your own decisions, go out, do your own research, figure it out for yourself. So I went, did research. I ended up writing like my research paper in college on conservation. I really dug in and I found this, this passion to just share with people that if you just took a little extra time to understand it, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive, I understand, but hunting and conservation, the North American conservation model, Pittman-Robertson taxes, it's, it, hunting is conservation and it's also a connection to your food that you can't get. And so that's what led me to the National Shooting Sports Foundation. I really dug in in college and wrote all about it and wanted to just share with as many people as possible. If you just take a little time to understand it, it's actually a great thing. It really is. And, you know, just even the, the idea of being able to know where your food comes from. Like exactly. harvesting your own food and, um, you know, the health concerns of, of food that's uh, meats that are coming to us that are full of antibiotics and we don't even know what. Right, exactly. I mean, it can be more natural than, than hunting or harvesting it yourself. And that's the thing too is you're providing a, a, a perfect, not perfect, but you're providing the land for the animals to live a almost as close to natural life that they can get in our modern society. You know, people are growing and expanding towns and we're encroaching on the environment that the animals live in. And, and if hunters and, and outdoorsmen and women aren't supporting it and paying for that, that land with ammunition and firearms tax, the Pittman-Robertson excise tax, then th th that land wouldn't be nearly as protected and the species wouldn't have exist as they do today. So, And so how did you find yourself uh, working for one of the most uh, pro proactive protecting uh, for the, the businesses that are engaged in the shooting sports and, and people that are involved in protecting our Second Amendment rights, uh, the National Shooting Sports Foundation. I mean, this is, I mean, a, a wonderful organization. And right out of college, did you start working for them? Yeah, it was actually during college. Um, they, I did an internship with them. I sent them my, my dissertation, and I had done a speech in Florida um, about hunting. And hunting is conservation was kind of my my tagline, and I um, won a won a debate and sent them my dissertation and said, "This is what I'm passionate about. I just want a chance to share with everybody, with the non-hunting public, because really, when you learn about it, the majority of people do support it. I've found that once you just hear the truth of it, um, 
and they, they said, hey, sure, you can come on for an internship. I said, I just need, you know, college credit for internship. I'd love to come do it with you guys. They said, yeah, okay, awesome, sure. Gave me an internship, and then after working with them there, I got hired right out of college, so. That's fantastic. Congratulations to Thank both you. of you. To them for having your talent and recognizing your talent and for you to be able to pair with this amazing organization. Um, so what specifically do you do with the National Shooting Sports Foundation? Yeah, so I'm the uh, digital media specialist. So I work on press releases, articles, newsletters, like bullet points, gear update, social media, a little bit of everything in the digital media realm, just, just about disseminating good information. And that is so important nowadays. So many people get all of their news from social media sites. Yeah. Um, and what sites could people find the National Shooting Sports Foundation on? Is it Facebook? Yeah, you can find us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, NSSF, or you can go to nssf.org, see what we're doing with, with everybody, manufacturers, retailers, government relations, um, or you can see our hunting and shooting specific stuff at letsgoshooting.org or letsgohunting.org. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for all the amazing work that you're doing. And I am excited to have gotten to meet you today. Yeah, me too. And we are in for an incredible event with the She Never Quit event Definitely. this weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, gang, stick around. We've got much more coming up on Gun Freedom Radio.